G'day and thanks for watching the Paper Buster 8 update video. We got a whole lot of exciting things that we want to share with you in this video and we thought using a video was the best way to do it. The good news is we've got a new release coming out in February and it's free of charge for all our Paper Buster users with heaps and heaps of new features. And for existing users that want to ease into the new features, when you load the new release, it'll keep working the same way the version that you've got at the moment works and you can slowly start uh, exploring some of the new features. Let's get into it and have a look at some of the new stuff. All right, let's have a look at one of the most exciting features in the new release that you're getting in February. And it's called Document IQ. Uh, what does that mean? Well, the best way to understand it is to see a practical example. The Document IQ feature is all about scanning all of your mail into the one PDF and letting the paper buster do the sorting for you. As an example, I can put some uh, BAZs, IASs, notice of assessments in the scanner, hit the button, and the paper buster will do the sorting for us. But let's have a look at it in action. So I've got a PDF on the left-hand side of the screen here. I'm gonna click the process button, and you'll notice that the paper buster split the pages, and it will look at how many pages belong to each document. It's smart enough to do that. You'll notice here that it's worked out that the first three are BAZs, and it's actually renamed those ready to actually do the filing for us. So the first phase of the document IQ technology says, let's identify what type of document it is. And once we've identified the type, we'll file it as we would have normally when we used to do it via batches. So you can see here it's worked out the annual IASs. Um, there's a couple of those, or there's three of those. And once it's worked out the document type, it does rename them. It's just onto the last three now. And you'll see in a second notice of assessments come up. It's worked out what type of document it is and it's um, getting ready to actually do the filing for us now. So it's finished identifying them all. You'll see them disappearing off the screen there as the letters are being done, the filing's being done, the mail book's being updated. All the things you're doing with the Paper Buster now are happening, but it's all being done for us automatically. You've got full control over which documents are part of Document IQ. Um, you can add more. We're just using an example here with three document types. I've finished, there's all nine documents processed. And the beauty was, I didn't have to sort them in piles, I could just put them straight in the scanner and actually start processing. So it'll save you heaps of time. Okay, another really exciting feature of the new release that's coming out is the ability to upload clients' information into the cloud or onto portals. And because you're using the Paper Buster to actually do your filing now, it makes sense at the same time to not only do your file internally, but do your filing up to the cloud. We're going to show an example of filing a notice of assessment as we normally do in the office and also uploading a version of that automatically in the same process to a product called Easy Vault, which is a uh, product designed for storing securely all of your client information on the, uh, on the internet in the, in the cloud and also allowing you as your client's accountant to actually access that information. So let's have a look at how it works. All we have to do is tick on the button here that says publish to portal and that could work with other portal, uh, portals as well. We're going to show Easy Vault as an example today. And then we just process our notice of assessment. I've just got one that I'm going to process the way we would normally process it. But I've ticked on the option here to send email without attachment. So an email is going to go to the client letting them know that we've uploaded uh, the notice of assessment with our normal explanation about the estimated amount and, and so forth. And um, when I click process, let's see it all, all in action. So a notice of assessment gets processed as per normal. An email's created. Now when we actually switch, there's the audit trail to say it was successful. We just switch to Easy Vault um, through our Internet Explorer. And you can see here there's a section in the client's secure vault online for all their accounting information. And then down the bottom here, we've got our tax area, and there's the notice of assessment that we just processed in the paper buster. Our filing's done, filing's done for the client, and uh, it's been uploaded. Just to have a quick look at the Easy Vault, um, there's other things in here as well. It allows your client to put all their personal information on here, things like driver's license, copies of passports, um, pictures. It's about providing a spot in the cloud, if you like, for your client to store everything. If you want to find out any more about it, let us know and we can uh, put you in touch with the Easy Vault people, but obviously we've worked pretty closely with them to integrate the two systems. Okay, some other things that you've asked for is unlimited document types. You can have as many document types as you like now in the Paper Buster and it will just allow you to scroll up and down. There's three columns that you can have that will hold uh, around 50 document types and then you can keep scrolling down for more. 
We've also added a great little help centre here. Just click on the question mark and up comes video tutorials, uh, the ability to email us for help, feedback, telephone support and obviously our contact details. So we've put a lot of work and, and, and time and effort into streamlining the, the help desk side of the paper buster. So you'll get to see all of that in, in uh, February and March when you get the new release loaded. Okay, we've had a look at some of the key features of the next release. There, there are a lot more uh, features that we haven't shown you because we didn't want the video to be too long. We're going to be running some user groups in February and March, so watch out for those flyers. Make sure you read the newsletters that we are sending out every month now. We're pretty excited about Document IQ. As you can see, we think that that's, well, we know it's actually going to save you heaps and heaps of time. We've put a lot of time and effort into it. It's taken years to develop, and because we've got over 220 firms around Australia using the Paper Buster, we've had a fantastic base of good ideas for the next release. So thanks for watching the video and I look forward to meeting you all at the user groups.